What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. Um, yeah, question of the month is upon us again. And yeah, we are going to start off as always by reviewing last month's question of the month. Um, hearing what you guys had to say. And then we will move on to this month's question of the month. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, if you remember last month's question of the month and my phone just went off and my tablet and now my watch um last month's question of the month was your dream bus type thing your dream spec bus okay and if i got 16 comments on that so thank you as always i always appreciate that and i asked for two buses i asked for an older bus that was older than 2000 and a newer bus that was newer than 2000. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start off. Ledbetter's Lawn Care said old bus would be a 1990s Thomas International 3800 with the DT466, um, full incandescent lights, black rubber, la, la, rub rails, um, black warning lights uh, with the visors, uh, a white roof, a black hood, um, for the wheels, he would like old style or spider wheels and a manual outward opening door. Um, for his new bus, he chose a 2005 through 2015 CE with a max force, I assume DT. Um, full incandescent, light, incandescent lights. That's an interesting choice, actually. I would have gone for uh, full LED, but um, black rub rails. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 I can't speak. It's 11:20, guys. Um, so, um, black black warning lights without the visors. That's another interesting choice. Um, a white roof, same. Uh, uh, yeah, yellow hood, uh, standard IC wheels, and electric door. Um, yeah, those aren't bad. I wouldn't. I would have gone a little bit different with the CE, but still not bad. Um, Ted Reynolds said, Dream Buses, new, it was, in the well, oh my gosh, I cannot speak, would be a 2015 Bluebird Vision, bus 96, and his older one would be a 99 Thomas FS65. Matt Cop 23 said, nice video, thank you. Um, I would like an FS65 with New York specs, which is basically what they call blackout, which means yellow everything. Um, and he said yellow rubber rails, roof, black wheels. I cannot speak. Um, he wants air ride, LEDs, tinted windows, and a CAT 3126 engine. Um, yeah, those are, I like New York buses. Those are pretty nice. Oh gosh, my favorite person, Sean is zero three one two. Ooh, um, I'm you know I'm not really sure what the old bus would be, but I bet we all know what my new bus would be. Hmm. No, I don't know, Sean. What would it be? Of course, bus zero three one two. Oh gosh, I would have never guessed that. Weird enough, I like it just the way it is with the LED lights, brake lights, and the stop sign that blinks stop and air ride seats, doors, and suspension. Although, uh, I probably would add a few things such as AC, um, not, the, not that long this week, in which you meant month. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, Nishan. Will Michaels said, got a ICCE Max Force DT, and that's all I know, LOL. Well, then, you've pretty much got nothing because you got no doors, you got no uh, hood, you got no roof. Bruh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I don't know how to say your name. GB Venom, I guess. Um, you said uh, bus 13, labeled 13 on the side window. Um, Dream bus, or actually it didn't say that. Labeled 13 on sign on window. <sighs> Guys, I need to go to bed. Um, his dream bus, he said, would be a Thomas C2. Good choice. Um, the current bus would be an ICCE 200 with a Cummins engine, and they do make those. I made a video a couple of years ago whenever they first started doing that. Um, and then he said his older buses would be a 2014 CE 300 handicapped, a 
an ICC E200 with speakers, okay, and and a Thomas 3800. Um, okay, nice. Bus 712 said Dream Bus. Oh Lord, he went all on this. Um, nice. Okay, I, I'm I'm. This is the first time I'm reading everyone's comments, so. Uh, Dream Bus new would be a 2014 CE with a Max Force DT, black windows and black window posts, gray seats, AC, black hood, rectangle hood mirrors, one stop sign, white roof, number 20, and a crossing gate. That's a that sounds nice. His old one, um, a safety liner EF, and basically every Thomas bus is a safety liner, but safety liner C2 is like imprinted above the door. Um, on the C2s while everywhere else it just says safety liner on um, on the dash but C2, everyone just refers to it as the EF, the EFX, the HDX not the safety liner HDX, safety liner EFX but you know um, anyway uh, safety liner EF uh, injured standard Dot, dot, dot. Not an engine expert. I'm pretty sure they were Cummins, if I'm not mistaken. Um, regular windows and yellow window posts. Gray seats, no AC. Ooh. You, I don't know where... Uh, oh, you posted where you live. Um, Minnesota, I think. I think that's what that is. I don't know. MN? That should be Minnesota. Um, a standard front, which is yellow. Big front mirrors, one stop sign. Yellow roof. Number, I don't care. That's not a number. That's a phrase. And no crossing gate. Not bad. Um, let's see. Copyright 2015. Only Safety Liner C2 is allowed to use this content. Yeah, guys. If you use it, he's going to sue you. Uh, Ted Reynolds said, again, thanks, Cameron. This is the first question of the month I've ever been in. Well, you should have participated more. Oh, and then Clayton also said, yay, first question of the month I've ever been in. You guys should have participated. No, no, but guys, seriously, if you want to be shouted out, then let me know. Aiden Sweeney said, my dream bus would be a 2014 C2 with a Mercedes-Benz engine. Uh, no, um, he would want full incandescence, um, one stop sign, black rub rails, um, black warning lights with no visors, yellow uh, hood and roof. The default black wheels, an automatic door, a crossing guard, number 2129. I don't see. Okay. Um, the district would be the cool bus. Uh, he's, te he's copying Texas Street Man. Um, and for the rear, uh, the rear turn lights, the rear lights, the turn signals would all be amber. I've never seen that. I've seen them all red, but not all amber. That'd be interesting. Oh, just the turn signals. Guys, I need some sleep. I really do. Um, or uh, his older bus would be a 1999 or a 2001 Bluebird 3800. Um, the engine would be the DT466E. Yes, and E. Well, yeah, it does belong there, actually. Um, lights would be full incandescent, incandescent stop sign with one stop sign, black rubber rails, um, black warning lights with no visors, a yellow hood and roof, uh, the default black wheels, an electric or an electric or air door or manual door. Well, there are three different types, but um, crossing gate. Uh, once again, bus number twenty one twenty nine, and once again the cool bus, um, and then blacked out blacked out windows on all windows. Nice. And then he also said something up here. Uh, you like black hoods? They're ugly. Uh, I don't know. I, I, It depends on what bus they're on. I'll, I'll say that. There are some buses that, yes, I will agree, they do look bad. Um, but otherwise, I don't think they look bad on all buses. And it depends on the specs that they're going with, too. And then, to round it up, Clayton said, uh, My dream buses new would be a 2015 CE300 shorty with these. Air brakes, chrome grill. Ooh, yep, that's that's a good one. Um, air ride, air ride, white roof, chrome mirror brackets, and black rubber rails. Alcoa wheels, blue seats, air door, LED strobes, 
high back seats DT466E well they don't put that in there but still since it's a dream bus you can put whatever in a streamer oh yeah that's 1156 turn signals um, and fender turn signals bro best one best one right there Clayton there you go you just you just like uh, man I don't even know um, I'm interested to read your um, old one okay um, his old one is a 1988 International S1800 Bluebird Shorty with these options. Air brakes, aluminum grille, white roof, chromed out mirror brackets, black rub rails, Alcoa wheels, straight piped, LED strobes, DT466, 1156 aero turn signals, and a manual door. Not trying to copy, or not trying to be like Texas Street Man. <laughs> um, it's weird because he pretty much has all of those. Um... I would like a shorty because I have an RC racing club and a shorty would be perfect. RC, um, like remote controlled, that's interesting. Just in interesting you would drive a real bus in there. <laughs> um, but anyway guys, thank you for all your comments. I always do appreciate reading them and I have fun reading them. Um, and thank you for the guys who suggested um, the question of the months and I certainly will be doing a a discussion video on those or maybe a question of the month and I will give you a shout out if I do either of those and if you do have an idea for a question of the month do let me know down below and I might consider using it like I said for a discussion video or for a question of the month depending on what it is so um, anyway now we are moving on to this month's question of the month what month is it April um, okay so now we are going to go over the ugly buses. We just did our dream ones, the ones that would look awesome. Now we're going over to the bad ones. We're on the other side of the spectrum now. So we will list three terrible buses, three horrible looking buses. Just uh, don't look at me. You know, they're, they're horrible, okay? Um, and these are just my opinions. Um, in no particular order, it's just um, I just think that these are ugly buses so first off we actually have a recent one and not really uh, it's a couple years old it's uh, I think it came out what 2009 maybe I, I'm not sure I'm not sure off the top of my mind um, but the Starcrap Juridian or the Guardian or I don't know because there's so many different pronunciations or whatever um, so basically what it is if you don't know what it is is they took a Starcrap bus and this was StarCraft's first Type C bus. And they took a Hino 338 chassis and they pushed them together and it produced a very ugly bus. Um, never went into pro full production. It was just kind of like a prototype floating around the country, you know, showing off at these big shows. Um, and the, I only know one person who likes it, um, and that is Tyler. So, you know... But Tyler's weird, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Tyler, you're cool. Um, yeah, it, it's just a weird-looking bus. I don't think it was just complete enough. It didn't look, didn't really look modern. The inside was just kind of weird. It just, just didn't really like look like it belonged on the roads. And that that's just me. Um, enough about that one. Um, Anyway, the next set, um, I really, I'm really going with a whole manufacturer here, so um, not just a specific bus, and you'll see why, you'll understand why in a second, um, is the Corbay or Corbell, I know it's Corbay, but I've always said Corbell, Corbeal, I don't know, Corbay is what people call it, so Corbay buses, I just don't like them, they just look weird, just I don't even know. Right now, I have I have pictures of the three buses that I'm going over right now pulled up on my computer, and I'm looking at um, a 2000 GMC version of it, and it just does not look right. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's just, I don't know, everything, like, the square lights on the, uh, on the Type A just kind of, like, didn't look good. It's got the weird logo, and it's a smiley face, and that just kind of freaks me out. Um, it looks weird. But then again, Carpenter did buy them out, and they kind of, like, changed it slightly, um, but not so much. Um, but but still, I don't know. I'd, I If I had to choose either, like, 
GM or Ford to go on it, I would choose Ford, and GM would be the uglier one, but still, I'm not sure I would choose either of them. I don't know, I've just never really liked Corbets, except for their Type C's and D's. Okay, I should have been more specific. I just hate the Type A's from Corbet. I just, I just don't like them. Um, I, I really don't know what to say about it. It's just, eh, I, I just never liked them. Um, their warning light panel is kind of, not warning light panel, control panel is just kind of weird. Um, I, I don't know, it's just really weird. So, yeah. Moving on to our last and final bus, I'm pretty sure most of you might um, put this on your list too. Um, but one of the ugly buses that people criticize all the time is the Thomas Vista. And if you don't know what the Vista is, it's basically this bus that Thomas created back in the 90s um, or, or, or late 80s or sometime. Um, and basically what it was is I don't, I don't know if it's a Type B or a Type C. No one really knows because Thomas never made it official. Um, so it's either a Type B or a Type C. If it's a Type B, then you can order it to the size of a Type C. But it it's just this weird looking bus. If you think about a 3800 hood and just cut it in half, like so you only get like the front portion of the 3800 hood and just throw that onto a bus, That that's exactly what it is. Okay, I can stand the international version. The international version, you know, I've gotten used to over time. But they also made a GM version of it, the GMC um, uh, Thomas Vista. And it, I, I don't even know where to start with this thing. This is, it's a unique bus, I'll give it that. But it is just so weird. Um, everything on it, like, okay, not everything, but... Um, the turning signals and the um, headlights are both square, and they both go right next to each other. I don't, I don't like that. It's just, I don't know. It just looks weird. Um, the hood itself just looks extremely weird. It looks like there's two seats that you can sit, you can sit on them, uh, on part of the hood, and then it just has like a doghouse, um, and the doghouse is a part is, uh, I'm sure some of you know, but um, doghouse is like where the engine is, like the little hump that the engine's in. Um, but it's got it's got an external doghouse with uh, parts of it cut off, and it just looks weird. I, I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, I really don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, go ahead and let me know what your three ugliest buses are. Um, so, and I will respond, or well, I probably won't respond, I'll probably thumbs up them, and then I will, um, uh, la, la, tell them in my next video. I will mention them in my next video. Um, and once again, if you do have an idea for question of the month, let me know. I will consider using it either for a discussion video or a um, question of the month. I need to get going to bed. It's 1140 here. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, over here. I don't know why they put it down and where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or you're going to be tired just like me. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, share it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. So uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching.